I have to say, we have not had any candidates apply who are quite so impressive. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. And I, I genuinely think I could bring a lot to this organisation. Great. In terms of us moving forward with a decision, we just have to run through a routine personality test. Is that OK? No, perfect. Great, yeah. What do you think of this? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure if I understand. Um... Oh, that's fine. Um, just take your time and answer instinctively. Like, how does this make you feel? Are you feeling like, ooh, yuck? Or, uh, ooh, yes, please? Right, OK. Uh, well, it's a very cute baby. Yeah, okay, great, cute. So I, I, I just, I'm struggling with uh, how the questions are relevant to the... Oh, don't worry about it. Um, okay, in terms of communication, now, would you describe yourself as a clear communicator or someone who avoids conflict? Or someone who would definitely tell us if they were planning on starting a family? Sorry, again, it just sounds like um, you're trying to figure out whether or not I want to have a baby. No. Oh, my gosh. No, I would never ask you that. You know, legally, we're not allowed to do that. Good. Great, because I didn't want to... Sorry, I brought it up. I just... No, 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 no. Um, yeah. No, look, everything's great. You're great. I'm convinced. I'm going to go ahead and draw up those contracts. That is fantastic, New. Thank you so much. Thank you. In fact, I'm going to call one of your references right now to just get everything signed off. Fantastic. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's ringing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sally! Hi, it's Peter Lautner here. I'm just calling on behalf of uh, Harriet Bridgman. Um, she's put you down as a reference for her. That's right. <gasps> so, um, do you think she's planning on having a baby anytime soon? Oh, can't conceive. No, that is terrible. Okay, yeah, ta-ta. Welcome aboard. I'm not going to eat scalding hot porridge. Fine, you can eat mine then, you big wuss. No, yours is always too cold. And whose fault is that? Uh... Do you think I enjoy eating cold porridge every morning? I'm too busy cooking for you and baby bear to eat my own goddamn porridge. You want mine, Mama? Mine is just right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Helen. Sorry I snapped. Uh, work's been tough lately, but there's no excuse. I shouldn't take it out on you. God, you know, sometimes I don't like the bear that I'm becoming. I don't want to be like my father. Too hard. You know, maybe we should look at not sleeping in separate beds. I miss you at night. Look, I don't think I'm ready for that. Especially not since... <sighs> I, I told you she meant nothing to me. I was a different bear back then. Look, I don't want to talk about this in front of the B-A-B-Y-B-E-A-R. $20, thanks. You can ask me for ID.
couples must use their building and design talents to renovate this Auckland property. Great job, babe. Thanks, babe. While also impressing world-class chefs with their cooking. This is absolutely delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> All the while competing for the love of a handsome bachelor. Oh, Rose, I think I'm falling for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is crazy, it's all happening so fast. I am not okay with this part of the competition. Welcome to the Batcher Flock New Zealand. Okay everyone, I'm the new leader of this party and I want a slogan to match. How about just do it? With a tick over the just do it, and it's like, hey, vote for us with this tick. Um, but the tick is also like a swoosh. Yes, Greg, that is the Nike slogan. So we want something new. The Labour Party, I'm loving it. That's McDonald's. Oh, yum. Call me Labour. I'll call you Labour. Why are there so many musical options? Labour. It's only three years. No. Labour. Give us, give us a f go, man. It's bullshit. Come on, guy. Tell yourself not to, but you do grow attached to them. You love them. And but they're wild at heart. You've got to let them go. such a massive area that you literally could be anywhere. And just when I think it's hopeless, I see him. Right! This fully grown boy, a, a, a man, really, <laughs> eating his own food, hunting. I just thought, wow, this is very special. But would he remember me? It had been almost 10 years. Dad? Yes. Dad? And from that moment, yes, right. we were overcome with emotion. The both of us. Where the fuck oh, have you been? Oh, he remembers me! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll kill you! You're so strong! <laughs> shush, shush, shush. He used to calm him down with this when he was a boy. I'm so happy. Shush, shush, shush. I'll never forget him. My little Brendan. Brian. Yeah, that's what I said.